quick video today about this plastic part. I was asked by my friend to create some copies of this. Uh, it doesn't really matter why he wanted copies, but it's quite thin uh, and it has these little pegs on the edge because it flaps. It's, a, it's an exhaust vent fan. Uh, and so this video is my adventures in trying to recreate this with 3D printing. So, since it is so thin and it's curved and whatnot and it has these little pegs, I decided resin was probably the way to go. Uh, and so here are a bunch of tries and they tended to want to warp. I mean, these are the ones that, su that kind of broadly succeeded. But even then, this back spine wanted to lift off at the edges depending on the various orientations. Uh, so I was really struggling because I think it... Again, the, it's such a thin profile. Uh, and so I came up with the idea of basically modeling in a spine attachment from something a bit chunkier to try and hold a straighter line. And you can see even these spines have warped now. But I did manage to get three pretty good, pretty good uh, flaps here, or fins. Um, but then I'm still worried that these pegs are going to be quite brittle. So I came up with the idea that treating it more like a hinge with some loops and put a, a piece of actual welding rod through to provide those pegs and be more robust. Uh, and I quite like this idea and it actually meant that where I originally thought because of these sort of pegs on the end and the arc and all the rest of it, I didn't really want to 3D print on the FDM printer because I thought if I print it this way, even with supports, the, the layering is going to cause it to be very weak in the directions it needs to be strong. And if I print it this way, I'd have a lot of like a lot of weakness in these pegs. But with this idea, I went to the idea of, yeah, I can 3D print it. Except what you can see from this is I want to print it in this orientation so that the layer lines kind of run here, which again, I think would be a strength consideration. But it prints the first part pretty well. And then it starts to get all weird because as the height on such a thin base, the the hot end just pulls it backwards and forwards until it just fails. And that is no good. Which led me to this final form idea of printing three at once. I need the three anyway. And just connecting in the model with these little thin sections so that when I print it like this, they provide each other stability so they don't warp. I could print in the orientation I want and then all I need to do now is clip those connectors, drill out those hinge areas and stick in some metal. So let's do that. The filament printer isn't good enough to keep this hole empty, so I'm just going to have to drill these out with a fine drill bit. So I don't know if you could see that, but it, as the drill bit went through, some of the fibers wrap around it and just kind of like a snake almost uh, just ripple in there. Uh, now, because of the print orientation, I have these loops that are in a strong orientation, so I think that's fine anyway. And there we go, two sets of three done, one with resin and one with the FDM printer and a little bit of thinking. Hopefully one of those sets will get the job done.